Hey everyone, this is TJ Clashcraft, and I'm making my first Clash Royale video today. Um, I downloaded an app on my tablet. I don't have a very good tablet to record my screen because apparently the uh, Google uh, the Google Play app will not record on my tablet. It's not compatible, so I had to download a separate app. Um, the lighting is different. This is the first time you guys see me on my face, as you see over in the corner. Um, and the lighting, I guess, on the app isn't all that great either. So maybe I'll have to look for a better app or maybe get a better tablet. Anyways, so this is going to be um, a, a whole new account. It's not my actual Clash Royale account. So I'm doing a Let's Play Clash Royale Episode 1, basically. And we're just going to start from the beginning. It says, Welcome to Clash Royale. Um, Challenger, let's complete some training matches first. And so to let you guys know, my tablet is very touchy. Well, I guess not touchy. It will not um, sometimes recognize the fingers touching it. Sometimes when you um, push on it, and so I'll, you you might catch it when I when I play something, and I'm like, why didn't it that place? And it will piss me off so much. Um, but anyways, Clash Royale. Um, the basics of it when you're at a beginner level is just basically get a tank in the front to take all the damage, and then after you get your tank. Let all the small things um, basically fight from the end. Um, what I, what um, as you can see, I'm just battling the trainers early because that's how you usually start Clash Royale is battling the trainers. So they're really easy. Uh, it gives you wooden chests to help you get some cards to help you get an understanding of the game, um, and so it kind of helps you just start up. So let's see what we get in our first chest. Um, it will take 15 seconds to unlock. Well, let's not wait. Um, normally, I would wait to save the gems, but for the video purpose, might as well open it. Um, so it's going to give us arrows and a knight. Um, I really like the knight card. Um, again, my tablet wouldn't let me push that button there. So I, I go ahead and um, upgrade the knight, and that's just going to make him stronger. Um, the knight is kind of like a tank himself. Uh, and I actually prefer using the knight over the giant because he's a he's a cheaper tank. Uh, the giant costs more. For the, those of you that have played Clash of Clans, uh, Clash Royale is very similar. You basically, um, when you go into the battle, uh, you'll notice on the bottom of the screen uh, some elixir bar. And um, as it says, you know that's your elixir. And you can play your cards according to how much elixir you have. Um, when I play the uh, tutorial again, it seems like the uh, the elixir um, you get the elixir much faster um, in the uh, in the tutorials than you do in the actual match. And so you can use a bomber. A bomber, um, like on Clash of Clans, has that uh, he has the uh, splash effect, and so the bomber with his splash, he can go ahead and splash the. Uh, um, any enemy troops that the enemy ha may have. I am going against trainers again here though. I mean the trainers are really easy. I'm just kind of showing you guys what happens at the beginning of the game. So we can just mass this guy with a bunch of stuff and we're going to win no matter what. Um, but uh, So it's quite simple. You get the tank in the front and you play. These are robots we're playing against. When we start playing against the humans, it gets a little harder. Um, the early on in the uh, early uh, stages of the game, it's actually really easy um, because you're battling against a lot of people who uh, haven't quite figured out the game yet. So I actually want to get out of the uh, first two arenas as fast as I can because otherwise I'll feel like I'm being a bully, picking on all the people who are still learning how to play. So we unlocked the Musketeer and the musketeer is um, basically a strong archer is what it is uh, it's uh, it's got a gun the musketeer does have a gun and she's pretty powerful she's uh, she's good against uh, like dragons baby dragons and so one thing you want to keep in mind is you want to try to attack your opponent's towers however you don't want to not be, uh, leave yourself vulnerable. So you don't want to be vulnerable to attacks. You like he's putting those uh, skeletons over there. I could become vulnerable if I uh, play, I was placing um, a bunch of troops on this right side over here. 
Um, however, those were just skeletons, so my tower can take it out, which is why I did nothing. Um, but in a real match, you wouldn't want to just place everything down at once and leave yourself open to be attacked and have no way to defend it. So uh, with this being um, being just a, a trainer, they're, they're not going to really put in that um, fancy, uh, all those fancy thoughts of Hey, I placed all my elixir. I can go ahead and attack his other tower. Um, that they'll probably play it a little more wiser as a human, but as a trainer, they won't. So let's open up our next wooden chest and see what we get. Um, pretty soon, we should be getting an epic. Um, I think it's just giving us commons right now. I don't remember when it gives us our first epic, but usually you leave training camp with one or two epics, I believe. Um, and so it, the training camp just helps you get a few cards. What the cards do is they, uh, the more cards you get, the higher level you can level up your, um, we'll go ahead and play some archers down, I guess. Um, I should have probably played a knight to help defend that, um, but oh well. Um, but anyways, uh, the training camp kind of just helps you get your cards so that you can go ahead and start playing in the real game against human players. It also helps you uh, teach you the basic gameplay of placing troops and how it works. And so that way you'll you'll know the uh, you'll know how the game works and how it functions and all the basic controls. But um, it mostly just kind of gives you that head start. Um, not a lot of people like to go into a match with a human player, which won't be as easy as the guy like these trainers who play nothing. Um, and so, yeah, this one's going to give me an epic. As it says right there, uh, contains at least one epic. So let's go ahead and open that up. And we got a witch. I do like the witch. So um, let's see if it automatically puts it in. So it does automatically put it in for us. That's awesome. I forgot that... Uh, I haven't played from the beginning forever, so it's been a while. Um, I do like the witch. She spawns uh, skeletons while attacking. She has an area attack. So let's go ahead and throw her in this trainer match. Um, I'm sorry, Timu, or however you pronounce your name. You're going to die. Um, and so, yeah, these, uh, these trainers almost stand no chance if you already know how to play the game. A lot of the uh, a lot of the cards are very similar to uh, Clash of Clans, like I said. So um, let's go ahead and get something in there to help our giant out. He's almost dying. But um, the as you can see, the witch works just like a witch would work on Clash of Clans. Um, she spawns a bunch of skeletons in, and they they kind of mass the place. Um, unlike Clash of Clans, though, where on Clash of Clans you have a limit to how many skeletons the witch spawns. The witch will continuously spawn spawn skeletons. However, she um, she does it at, um, every so many seconds. So you might be in a match where she will. Um, let's actually leave that and let's just go on to the next battle. You might end up in a match where uh, she's not spawning a skeleton and she ends up dying herself before she spawns those skeletons. So you want to watch it. Um, I'm playing them. I, I, I was playing it on the right side before you notice now I'm playing it on the left side because I noticed that the uh, The AI keeps playing on the uh, on the left side and so I don't want to just keep um, Having to face the AI um, as you can see as you get further um, along with the AI the AI will start to get harder and harder um, however, it is still pretty easy um uh, another thing to note, um, I can't even remember what it was. I was going to say something. He'll come back to me. But anyways, the um, <laughs> the AI just used arrows on me. So let's go ahead. I don't think they're going to take it. So I'll just go ahead and just place on this side. Oh, never mind. They took it. But um, let's see here. Some, some other uh, things about Clash Royale. Um, so it's going to have me select my name. So let's go ahead and put my name in here. Oh, my tablet's not typing it. 
Yes. So, like I said, I need to get myself a new tablet. I am working on that. So, let's see if it will just go ahead and put this in here like that. Oh, it worked. There we go. We'll just do that. Uh, so, we got that in there. Let's open this chest, see what we got. Um, as, the, as we get more cards, the stronger the cards will get. And... We're almost out of the training camp. I believe this is the last training camp battle. And then we'll be able to go and uh, battle an actual human being. Which will be more challenging. Um, so what I was going to say earlier, and now now remembered it, is um, it's usually better to wait for the, uh, the elixir bar to get full before you place your first card. That way you kind of have the... Uh, Let's go ahead and place a giant over there. That way you have the... I'm not too worried about this giant over here. My bomber is going to take him out. And we got a big force on the right side that I'm just going to let it happen. But uh, if you wait for your elixir bar to get full, that gives you the chance to play something and still have enough elixir to defend yourself if you needed to. So I always recommend um, waiting for that elixir bar to get full before you make your first move. And if you ever get in a match where you have to reset, and what I mean by reset is uh, where the uh, where you both don't have any cards left on the field. So we finally got our first silver chest. Um, but yeah, if you both don't have any cards left on the field, then that would be like a reset. I'd wait for your elixir bar to get full again before you played your first, uh, first card. So we just left training camp. Uh, we didn't get another uh, epic card, which kind of stinks. Um, I really wanted the skeleton army. Uh, the skeleton army at the lower levels is just very, it's very demolishing um, to people. And it kind of, kind of can get you almost to arena five before people can't, um, before people start countering it. Because not a lot of people use arrows. And when they do use their arrows... Um, then you, what you want to do is you want to lure those arrows out with a bait card. And then as soon as they play the arrows, you just play that skeleton army and they have nothing to do, deal with it. Uh, it just demolishes them. So it's a, it's really good card for the lower levels. I wish I got it. Um, however, I didn't get it. So we got to work with what we have. We did unlock the goblins. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use those yet. So let's do uh, uh, one battle, um, or no, we'll do two battles against a human player, and then we'll, oh, I leveled up. I didn't even want to level up yet, but I'm now level two, so we're already level two, and I think I'm just going to leave those goblins out, because they're common level one, and, and the commons are weaker than the uh, rares, so rares are orange, commons blue, and then epic is purple. And so that's what I meant by epic cards. I didn't get any more. So let's go ahead and just do a battle and see what we can do. All right. And then um, if we can three crown these guys, then maybe we'll do more than just one battle. I want more than two battles. So let's go ahead and place our knight. I like to um, throw them thumbs up. I just had some serious lag. The knight is really hard against at these lower levels. I will say that since he's got a knight, I probably will lose this match. Uh, not the knight, but the uh, the prince. My bad, the prince, you guys. I, I was not thinking. Uh, so we, we are already off to a bad start because he has that prince and I have almost no counter to it besides the witch. So I will have to keep keep that in mind the next time he plays that knight i will need to play my witch so let's play the uh, knight and the bomber against this so that they can't take us out and we're gonna have to watch for that prince i'm saving this witch for when that prince comes out because that's going to be my only counter to the prince right now and he's not going to address that uh if he's not going to address that giant, then I'm just going to go ahead and throw down some archers to go right behind it. Oh, come on, witch. No, my witch. She went. She didn't face the giant. That's so sad. But anyways, we have a big, uh, big attack going on against him. And 
Is he going to defend it? Uh, we're obviously losing on our side, but let's see if we can hold off on this attack over here. So we played our knight. Let's get a bomber down. He he made a mistake not defending. Um, I made a mistake with placing my witch. That was a really horrible mistake, but somehow we came out on top. <laughs> but uh, anyways, these it's so funny playing these beginner matches when the cards are so weak and... And you don't have much to work with. So uh, I, I do apologize with all the lag. It's probably my tablet. So let's go ahead and pop into another match. Um, and see how it goes. So let's see here. We got, uh, we're got we going against the level 1. So he's already at the disadvantage. And he's thrown a fireball. <laughs> if he's going to throw a fireball at me, I might as well just throw everything I have at him. So obviously this guy is a newer player. He probably doesn't know he shouldn't just throw a fireball at someone like that. I would not recommend that style of play. Um, just throwing a random fireball. Um, he does have a bomber, so that will um, attack our skeletons. Um, so uh, uh, we just have to make sure that we get rid of his bomber first before we uh, worry too much about anything else. Um, as you can see, the witch is just spawning so many skeletons and he can't deal with it. And I've actually basically won this. There's nothing he can do unless he fireballs me. Let's see if he's got his fireball out. He could pro he probably does and he just doesn't know to use it. So yeah, I, I would have fireballed in that situation and it would have been his saving grace. And so let's go ahead and give him a thumbs up. Let's see here, our next one. And I apologize if my face hasn't been in that camera. I, I can't even see it. Can't even see the, the camera that well on with the lighting. So I might have to find another uh, another thing before I can do that. So that's two, three crowns in a row. I kind of want to go again, you guys. So let's do one more. Um, and see if we can get another three crown. And so three, uh, the crowns, how they work, uh, if you played Clash of Clans, it's similar to uh, to uh, three, three starring a base. I believe it's three starring. I haven't played Clash of Clans in forever. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's how I uh, got into Clash Royale was um, uh, through Clash of Clans. And we just had some lag right there. So he has a, um, a, a baby dragon. So we'll want to use our musketeer to take out the baby dragon. Um, and so the musketeer should do a good job against that baby dragon. And then I would have played my knight there, but it's a, it was a little too late. So I, I'm just going to wait um, until the next one before I play my knight. So let's play the knight right here. And then play the witch to back the knight up. So as you saw, I, I played the knight when my tower could help shoot the bomb tower. So that way the bomb tower wouldn't, um, the bomber wouldn't hit my tower. Um, his, his baby dragon to shut us down. So let's set up with another giant. And then a bomber for those archers. <coughs> and then we'll probably play the archers next. Yeah, so we'll play the archers next against that bomber. And then we're going to put some pressure on this other side uh, so that he will he will have to choose which tower to save. <clears throat> and if he chooses not to address that other side, then we're going to get it, basically. And so let's go ahead and... Um, so <coughs> the witch has the area attack. So we can go ahead and use her area attack against that. And then we're going to place this giant to just tank everything. And so the giant's going to tank the towers. It's going to tank the uh, the uh, his cards as well. And then we can play another knight to be our next tank. Um, and so the knight should hopefully tank most of that. And we got two witches, which should help take anything else out. Our knight already fell, but with everything we have, I don't think he's going to be able to pull it off. So we can just uh, sit back and take the win. Three crowns again. 
like I said, I kind of feel like a bully on these uh, lower levels. It, it's just so easy to win. Um, we'll probably open that uh, that three hour chest and do one last one. I'll have this uh, next this next battle be my last one if my tablet loads here. I want to try to get the crown chest and open it with you guys. So let's go ahead and open this real quick. And then we won't spend any more gems. I want to save gems because I don't plan on buying gems with this account. So we want to save the gems and use those for challenges. So let's go ahead and battle this guy and give him a thumbs up. Okay. And my thing's not playing. Oh no. I hate it when it does that. My tablet was not playing, you guys. So that was the mini P.E.K.K.A. I, w I couldn't play my giant against it because it would have took out my giant completely. I was trying to play those archers much sooner, but it wouldn't. Um, it wasn't working. Our witch will be good against his mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, it's also going to be fast at taking out his giant before the giant gets there. Um, so let's see if we can get our giant down in front of the witch. That's going to be important if I can get the giant down in front of the witch. Our witch is going to be key to winning this match here. So here we go. And he's got a knight. So that's good to know. Uh, not a knight. A prince. I keep calling the, the prince the knight. The prince is very dangerous. Um, as, as you can see, the witch, she, she takes out the mini P.E.K.K.A. really well. So let's go ahead and set up with archers in the back and see what he plays next. Because <clears throat> I, I couldn't really set up an attack there. I'm going to place a knight now. And then maybe a musketeer to defend if, he, if he's going to do an attack. So let's see here. Let's place another witch to get some... Get some attack in there and just keep up the pressure. We only needed that one crown for the crown chest, so I'm already happy about this match, but I want to push for a three crown. I'm debating whether to just place my giant on the right side. I don't have anything to help out against this knight, so I'll just have to use my bomber, which isn't always the best. Let's place our giant now and some archers in the back. Um, just in case he plays that mini P.E.K.K.A. And then place a knight over here to continue the pressure. I think he may have given up. Um, I'm just going to say good game. And see if he gave up. Yeah, because he hasn't played any cards yet. And so I think we won. And so that that's the basic... Uh, that's our first, uh, first episode of Let's Play Clash Royale. I'm probably going to only uh, trophy push on this account. Um, let's not raid it right now. I'll probably only tr trophy push on this account when I'm when I'm on this with you guys. I may trophy push up to like 400 trophies just so I'm not picking on the little ones um, with you guys on the camp um, watching. So I got a Valkyrie in the crown chest. I got a Goblin Hut. I got some bombers, and I got another witch. It couldn't give us the skeleton army. Really? The card I wanted. Um, and we can't even upgrade the witch yet because we don't have enough uh, gold. So we'll just have to upgrade our bomber to level 3, which will be good. So that bomber will help out. Um, I'm not really a fan of the goblin hut at these lower levels. Um, I feel it actually will hold me back. Uh, the Valkyrie will be good, and I may end up just replacing that giant with the Valkyrie. I don't know yet. I'll consider it. But anyways, uh, that, that's the end of this vid video, and I hope you all have a good, a good uh, rest of your day. And please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Clash Royale or Minecraft videos. Thank you. Bye.